Okay, everyone, welcome to day 11. I hope that after yesterday, you really did take my advice, take some time to think about what would those big paychecks actually mean for you and your family. Maybe you started thinking about a bill that you could pay or multiple bills that you could pay. Maybe you were dreaming about a trip that you've always wanted to go on and now you actually can see that it is a possibility. But I know that a few of you will probably have stopped yourself from dreaming and been overwhelmed and thought there's no way that I can grow a big team. So today we're going to talk about the power of one. This is an important concept for you to understand. The earlier that you can kind of get this information into your mind and make it really make sense, the quicker your business is going to change for the better. You are going to grow exponentially if you can understand this concept. So to give you some um, an idea, as of this morning, my group, so remember we talked about this when I talked about your compensation plan, your group is everybody under you, your team is everyone who has you as their director, or everyone under you until you hit director, okay? So um, as of today, my group is 2,237 people, and my team is 315. So before you think, wow, she must be really good at recruiting, I want to let you know that I personally did not recruit 2,237 people. <laughs> I did not, okay? But I want to share with you that I started as a team of one. It was just me. Uh, in September of 2011, when I first joined, I was a team of one. Now I have grown my business. I started to sponsor people quite early on because I was uh, originally not planning on being a consultant. Um, I had no idea what I was doing. I was like, how not to be a consultant 101, but I would have people who would um, be at my parties and they're like, this is so much fun. I want to do this. And I'm like, yeah, you should totally do it with me. <laughs> and that's how I originally started sponsoring. So I want you to take the fear out of recruiting I want you to remember why you joined. So people typically will join Sensi for one of three reasons. The first one is just for fun. A lot of people will just join Sensi because they see that we have a really great time. Um, if you do team nights um, with your upline or maybe your upline does not do team nights and that's okay, you need to be the upline you wish you always had, okay? So if you have, if you're a team of one, if you're you, uh, and you go to a movie and you're like, hey, I'm doing a Sensi team night with myself. And you're paying for a movie out of your Sensi pay. Hey, that's a team night. If you have one person on your team right now, do it together. If you have a, a peer that you've become close with that you know because of Sensi, two of you guys can go out. Like, it doesn't matter. It, you don't have to have a big team. I don't want you to have this impression that at a certain number that becomes a team. Mm -mm. I was a team of one and then I became a team of two and then we went from there. So I'm going to show you. Oh, sorry. So the first reason is for fun. The second reason is for friends. Um, as adults, it's actually very hard to make friends with people because we no longer um, have that kind of ability. Like when you see kids on a playground and they'll just walk up to anybody and be like, do you want to play? And they're like, yeah. We don't have that anymore. Now we have a screen in front of us that says, what if they reject me? Kids don't have that fear, right? Kids don't have a fear of rejection. If someone at the park doesn't want to play to them, they're like, okay. They go to the next person. Hey, do you want to be my best friend? And they're like, sure, right? We don't do that as adults. So a lot of people are just looking for friends and they want to have friendship. They want to have community. They really just want to feel a sense of their belong to something. It's why people join sororities. Um, it's why people join different clubs because you don't want to do, we're not made to do life alone, right? We're built for community. And Sensi is a really great community that people can be attracted to. So whatever reason you joined may not be the reason why someone who joins under you. So remember that fun friends. And then the last one is funds. So either they are trying to save money on their Sensi products. So if they sign up today, um, as of uh, 2000, July, 2023, um, we have a requirement that they have to place one order in a single month, every 12th month to be stay, to be considered an active consultant. So that means that for 12 months, they're getting 20% commission back on all the orders that they place. So some people will be joining Sensi just to, um, they're already placing a big order and they're going to get a 20% kickback on that order. Okay. And that's 
awesome. We call those hobbyists. We, we love having those people on our team um, because if you have enough people um, on your team who are joining just for their own kickback, you will find that over time you have these people scattered. So in every single month, you'll have one of one or two or three of these people who joined just to get their own kickback. They're placing their one order of the year and it contributes to your TWV, your GWV and your active frontline, right? So those are great people to have. Um, but a lot of people will initially join just to get a little kickback. And then once they join, they're like, huh, there's something to this. And you might be one of those people. Maybe you joined and you thought, I'll just get my 20%. And now you're like, wait, Jen's telling me how I can actually make money with my Sensi business. And that's why you're here watching now. Okay. So you never know why people are joining and things can change also. So, um, a lot of people during COVID, they were like, whoa, I did not sign up to be a homeschool mom or a homeschool dad. And here I am, I'm stuck at home and I need to have an outlet. I need to do something that is just for me. And they started doing Sensi and other people, they got let go from their jobs and they were like, dang it, I need to find a job, but I have to stay home with my kids. What am I going to do? What can I do that I can work from home and have a flexible schedule? I always say Sensi hours are flexible but if you're wanting to make money, they're not optional. You have to put in the time in order to make the money. Having said that, people who were stuck at home now and they needed to find extra work, they were doing Sensi because now it is a flexible job that they can work around their family's schedule. And they started doing it to make income. So maybe that is you as well. Okay, so let's get to um, a really simple way to um, look at how to build a big, strong team. Okay, so this is um, my little white board. And um, last time I used it, I had a um, chair that I could lean it on. And this time, unfortunately, I don't have my chair. So here's my whiteboard. And up here, I'm going to put um, recruits. You guys know um, the term recruit is actually like not my favorite term because I personally would never want to be recruited to do something. Um, so instead, I'm using the term recruits because that's how we refer to it um, in Sensi. But when I'm speaking to somebody about joining Sensi, I don't use the term join either. I say, Okay, this is what I say over and over and over more times than you've ever asked somebody to do Sensi. This is my go to. Have you ever thought about doing Sensi with me? And sometimes they'll say, Yeah, actually, I did think about it, or like, No, I've never really thought about it. But now they will. So, anyway, that's my side note. Um, I'm calling it recruits because that's how we refer to it in Sensi land. Um, but just know that people don't want to be recruited. They, you don't say to someone, Hey, can I recruit you? or Do you want to be my recruit? That's gross. So we're not going to say that, but to give you a, an example of how this works. Okay. So we're right now we're in July. Okay. July, August, September, October, November, December. So if you are watching this and you're watching a replay, you can fill this in. You can write this down on a piece of paper, however you want. Um, but what I want to teach you is the power of one. OK, so I spoke to this in the last video that everything that you are learning, you now have to take as a personal responsibility that once you've learned it, it is now your job to teach it. OK, um, there is no sense in hoarding information. Um, it's really not the sensey way. Um, I really think about sensey spirit as being when you know something, you teach that. OK, so I want you to really start thinking about that. Put that into your mindset. We've talked a lot about mindset. Um, the more that you can learn, the more you can teach. And that is really a responsibility that I feel that I have. When I know something, I have to teach it. That's why I'm doing this program. And it's not just for my team. It's literally for anybody who comes across me on Google, anyone who watches me and has heard me talking about it. I don't get paid anything on you guys learning this. But once I know it, it is my duty to teach it. So that's why I'm doing it. So right now we're in July. And I want to show you that if you recruit one person in July, okay, 
and one person in August, one person in September, one person in October, one person in November, and one person in December. You would have six new team members by the end of the year, okay? Now, <clears throat> instead of just learning information and hoarding it, you are going to teach, okay? So in this instance, you are going to recruit somebody and teach them to recruit somebody, okay? In August, you're gonna recruit somebody and you're gonna teach somebody to sponsor somebody. And the person you taught last month is going to recruit somebody and teach somebody, okay? Sorry, that's not very clear. September, you're gonna, you're gonna bring one in and teach one. You're gonna have this person is going to bring one, teach one. This person is going to bring one, teach one. Okay, so you see how this goes. Okay, is this making sense? So you are bringing one and teaching one. And, and that teaching process continues to work its way down through the ranks. That's how I have a team of over 2000 right now. And actually we have had a lot more than that. And some people come in and then they leave um, and that's okay. Everyone joins for a different reason and a different season. Um, but the more people I can get learning how to make money with their Sensi business, the less likely they're gonna leave. Because the number one reason why people leave is they sign up and they buy a lot of stock or they um, do what they think that they need to do, but they don't actually know what they should be doing. Um, and then they leave because their spouse complains that they spend money on Sensi or something to that effect. That is oftentimes what happens. People say, oh, I don't make any money doing Sensi. That is why I designed this program. We need to start understanding why are you not making money? Let's turn that around. Let's have you earning money. Because even let's say you earned an extra $100 a month or you you help somebody in your team earn an extra $100 a month, that's $1,200 in a year. That for a lot of people could change their life. If you can go to the grocery store and not worry about how much it's going to tally up to, for a lot of people, that is life-changing income. So yesterday I, I spoke about $10,000 paychecks, which is incredible. I can tell you that. Um, but for a lot of people, an extra fifty, hundred dollars a month is going to change their life. So you really need to be aware of all the people that you can impact. And it is your responsibility. Really, I want you to think about it as being your duty to let people know um, that you are sponsoring, that you you would love for them to do Sensi with you. So what I have is um, I put it in the principles and I have this little multiplying power of one. Now, if we were to have started this little um, program in January instead of in July, um, so I'll go with a, a six month because we're going to go based on it being starting today because you're learning something new and you're going to teach it. Um, then in the, by the end of the year, guess what your team member is your team count will be. If you are one today, if, if it's just you, you are a team of one and you start implementing this new program, you recruit one person in July and then you teach them to do it again next month and it goes down and down and down the system. I'm here to let you know that by the end of December this year, in six months, your team will be a team of 63. In one year, if you continue this for 12 months, your team will grow to 4,095 in one year. That's important information for you to understand, not just to hear, but to actually implement. If you want to be making $10,000 paychecks, that's the way you're going to do it. You're going to recruit, you're going to teach, you're going to teach them to recruit, and you're going to teach them to teach their recruits to recruit, and you're going to go down the system. You're going to go down the system. You're going to go down the system. I don't talk to people about doing Sensi with me to earn 200 PRV a month. Mm -mm. No, even though that could change some people's life. Um, I really am very intentional with people I'm sponsoring. I want to make sure that they understand that we are really not uh, my, my organization. We are not an organization of minimums. 
Okay. Um, we want to have life-changing income in my organization. So instead of letting them know what the minimum is, I could very easily look it up and I could say, okay, if you do um, 500 PRV, now this is in Canada, so we have a um, peg rate. Um, so if they were earning 25% base commission, that'd be $166.25 a month if they're doing 500 PRV every single month, okay? Um, I'm not talking to them about minimums. I'm saying, well, what would be an income that you would wanna be earning? And if they said to me, you know, $150 a month would be a game changer for my family, then I would let them know that they want to aim for 500 PRV every single month, right? We don't talk about minimums. If somebody asks me a minimum, I can say like it's 200 PRV in one month, every 12 months, but those are people who are really wanting to get their own product and get a little kickback. And that's fine. As long as you know ahead of time what to expect, um, that's fine. But I will tell you that for everyone I recruit who wants to be a hobbyist like that, I do want to recruit a business builder, someone who actually wants to grow a business like I just showed you, where the best thing I can tell my my new team member, if somebody joins me today, the best piece of advice I'm going to give them is, hey, find your best friend, call them up right now, get them to join your Sensi team, and you guys can learn this business together. And they're like, yeah, I mean, because it's so much more fun to learn something with your best friend, right? If you're going to be earning a trip, you want your best friend to be on that trip with you, right? So learn together. That is really the best thing to do. So that is my um, advice to you today is learning the power of one. Do not put off recruiting. If you have never recruited before, that's okay. We're going to talk about it tomorrow. I'm going to teach you how to sponsor as well as how to have join packs. Um, so that you're prepared and ready to go. Um, but we're going to talk about that in tomorrow's video. But um, if you have questions about the power of one and you've already looked at the printables that are in the description, um, then drop those comments below and I will be sure to respond to them. So I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thanks for being here.